This is a demo of the Gimager application in Kali Linux. Gimager acquires, burns, and verifies images of media storage devices. Gimager performs hashing and verification operations, saves acquired images as raw, in-case, and advanced forensic format files, and supports the input of metadata. Gimager is also very fast because of its support for multi-threaded operation and multi-core CPUs. Gimager is open source and free to use. If you are a bit tired of the command line tools you have seen in Kali Linux, you will be happy to see the GUI application window in this demo. Gimager is an application that is easily started from the command line. Gimager needs to run with root privileges, so use sudo if you are not running as root. The first thing we need to do is check the version by selecting the Help About Gimager menu item. You can see here that the version of Gimager included with Kali 1.1.0 is 0.7.1. The Gimager download page on SourceForge.net reports the latest release of Gimager is currently 074. Here's how to get the latest release of Gimager and keep it updated on Kali. First, we need to use the following two commands to add the Gimager software repository and public key to the advanced package tools sources.list file. Next, we will use the apt-get command to update the local repository list and install the most recent release of Gimager. Note that the old Gimager program is removed and the Gimager beta program is installed. Despite the word beta, the updated Gimager is a stable release. After Gimager beta is installed, keep it updated by running apt-get update and upgrade. One thing you may want to do after updating Gimager is to re-enable the ability of Gimager to save acquired images as AFF files. This was a standard feature in early releases of Gimager, but is now disabled by default. To re-enable AFF support, edit the file etc. Gimager local.config and set the line AFF enabled to equal true. This will cause the AFF selection in the acquire image box to become accessible. Alternately, you can specify the AFF enabled value on the command line with the value 1 or true to re-enable AFF only for a single execution of Gimager. One word of caution, only change the local.cfg file and do not edit the gimager.cfg configuration file because this file is overwritten when gimager is updated and you will lose any changes that you have made to this file. In this demo we will see how to use gimager to acquire and burn raw images to media storage devices, save images as in-case and AFF files, perform device-to-device -device copies, hash and verify burned files, and how to update Gimager from the Internet. Before we go on, I must warn you that this demo is destructive to the contents of digital storage media. If you accidentally burn an image to the incorrect target device, you can unintentionally and likely irreparably destroy data that you wish preserved. For this reason alone, I advise always using a hardware write blocker on your source media as a failsafe, even in non-forensic situations, in case you were to make this mistake. A single protocol that emphasizes maximum safety for handling all disk imaging scenarios is best. Gimager is a very simple tool for acquiring and burning images of media storage devices. Its real benefit is how fast it is to acquire images on modern multi-core computers. Gimager also produces a report of its operation suitable for inclusion in forensic case documentation. Gimager must run with root privileges, so use sudo to start Gimager if you are not running as root. Let's start Gimager and have a look at what it does. The application window displays all of the block devices found that Gimager can use to acquire and burn images. If you need to image a device that isn't listed, use the Devices Add Special Device menu item. If you attach or remove any storage devices while Gimager is running, the Rescan button will update Gimager's display. I just plugged in an additional flash drive, and after a rescan, it is now displayed in the devices list. You acquire an image by right clicking on the device and selecting the Acquire Image menu item. Make your selection to save the image using the raw, in-case, or AFF file format, and enter any meta information supported by the selected format. If you want to split the acquired image into multiple files, specify the size threshold at which to split. 
Provide the name of the image file and the location of where to write the acquired image and the report information file. Also specify how you would like the image to be verified. You have your choices of hashing algorithms to use and if the source should be verified before and after the image acquisition. If you want to acquire a second image from the same source, click the Duplicate Image button and fill in the information and settings that you want to image. Unfortunately, you can't acquire two different image formats at the same time. To begin the acquisition, click the Start button. Gameager displays the progress of the acquisition and, and the verification. Now there's a green light and everything proceeded OK. For a complete record of the acquisition operation, have a look at the .info file created by Gameager in the same location as the created image file. This is exactly the type of information you will want to include in your forensic report. Performing a device-to-device -device image copy is also easy. Select the source device by right-clicking on it and select the clone device menu item. Now select the device you want to write the acquired image to. Now enter the name and the location to use for creating the .info file and make your verification selections. This can take a while if you have specified that the image will be acquired and burned to the target device after the source is verified and the target device will be verified before the burn as well. Well, we get another green light indicating the copy and verification occurred without errors. You can see the detailed information in the .info file that was created. We can also verify that the two devices contain identical information using the CMP command to perform a byte-by-byte -byte comparison of two devices. Without specifying any command line options, the CMP command will complete without displaying any message if the two devices contain identical content and abort at the first encounter of a difference and display the byte number where the difference occurred. In this demo, we see an end of file message indicating that the second device is of a smaller capacity than the first. Unlike CMP, Key Manager understands size mismatches and only verifies data that was copied or cloned. In this demo, we saw the Gameager Forensic Imaging tool in action. We saw how to update Gameager on Kali Linux. We then selected a device to acquire an image from, selected the options for acquiring an image, and learned how to re-enable the selection of the AFF format. We saw the imaging process, including imaging verification, how to make duplicate images, how to perform a device-to-device -device image copy, and how to use the CMP command to byte compare the contents of two block devices.